Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we just got in our new Apex bar. So we're going to open it up and then we're going to just start it on setting it up here. Uh, in the package we got the 3 foot Aquabus cable. I have an extra one of these from the PM2 module, so I'm actually kind of glad I came with one. And then the uh, bar itself. And a little piece of paper there. So we'll set this down. Can't forget, it also comes with uh, screws here. Four screws, which we will mount to the uh, side of the wall. All right. Now we have uh, the A outlets. These are five amp, these four or six here are five amp. And then these are the 10 amp. They recommend you put on something like a pump that, uh, that doesn't get turned on and off very often on the 10 amps. They do make a clicking sound. Basically, the relay, uh, relay strip. Uh, sorry, the relay port. Anyways, so we're gonna put on. Uh, we'll do a quick overview of how we're gonna set this up, and then we'll come back and program it with the Apex on uh, Fusion. We're gonna put the main pump. We're going to put the skimmer, white lights, blue lights, heater, uh, zeovit reactor, dosing pump, and power head. That's what we're looking at right now. Um, so I'm gonna get hooked up and then we're going to come back and program it. Hey everyone, we just mounted the apex bar to the back wall here using the four screws. The only one that gave me a trouble was the one that comes out with the power cord. Just a little bit of an angle to get that in there correctly, but it uh, still works. So now we're going to take the aquabus cable, which I already pre-plugged into the bottom of the bar, which I su suggest you do if you have any kind of angle to get to it. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. So, um, so we're going to take that and we're going to bring it over to the PM2 module. So we're just going to run it behind everything. I think I'm going to go up with it instead. And then we'll organize the cables afterward. Basically, they will come down to here, my filter socks. I'm just going to plug it in. And that's it for, for setting that up. So I guess we'll go ahead after, right now, actually, when we come back, I'll go ahead and, because uh, i got to unplug everything real quick. So I'm going to unplug everything, and we'll come back and plug it all in, and go over to the Apex. All right. Hey everyone, I just had to organize the cores real quick before we really got into it. They were all tangled on the bottom and I didn't want to have the video be a half an hour long. So what I already plugged in was the power head and the uh, dosing pump. Okay, those two are ready to go. And then I also plugged in the auto top off, which was a smaller cord, a little bit pain in the ass to get to. So we just plug those in quick. What we have left here, we have white lights. So we're going to do that here. kicked on. We got our blue lights. Remember you put these kind of items, it, since they turn on and off frequently, you put them in the 5 amps, which are everything from here over. Do the main pump. Okay. We have the skimmer, which is also one that doesn't turn on and off very often. Okay, we have the heater. Now it looks like I'm going to have to change a couple things. I think I'm going to put the, since the power head has its own control box, I'm going to move that to a separate outlet. That way I can control the reactor with the, with the, the free one. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we'll get started to programming the outlets as soon as we get back. Hey, everybody, we're here in Apex Fusion on my laptop. When you log in for the first time, you'll have a 
I say it'll say new next to this, uh, like a it's like a log. You're gonna go in here and pick whatever tiles are new, like the power strip, and also don't forget the amp um, meter there. So you're gonna want to drag those down to wherever you want before you close this up here. So I brought mine all the way down, and then I added the amp meter here in the end. So on the power bar. They're numbered as well. So when you come into Apex Fusion, you'll have a number here. So this is the top left, you know, two, three, and then this is the first 10 amp on the right hand side on the top, and then so on. Uh, the bottom left, all the way over, and then this is the second 10 amp, okay? Now you gotta remember where I plugged everything in. So once you deter, you, you can go ahead and if you really want to, you can use like a sticky and then put it on where you plugged everything in if you need to remember or Put it, uh, put like a zip tie or something on a uh, on the cord itself to remind you where you put everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just organize it a little bit, and then we're going to come back and program a couple outlets. All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick how to program a return pump. So let's go down to the return pump here in the section, which is our eight. Then you're going to rename it. We're going to do Zio main pump. We should be able to. I should be able to fit. We'll find out here in a second. Then you're gonna do control type. We're gonna go to pump. Fallback is always on. Initial time, since this is a pump, we don't want it to turn on and off, so you're gonna set this to zero. Okay, leave this at five, and then you can go ahead and put this one at zero. This is so the pump doesn't turn on and off. Uh, we're not gonna set a feeder delay yet, because we're not gonna set up a feed cycle on this tank, at least not for right now. And that's it. So let's go see if that name actually works. I'm gonna hit the upload button. Mm, looking good so far. Oop, not, nope. If it takes this long, it usually doesn't work, but uh, we'll see. Might be the name. It's too long. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's go, Joe. Oh shit, it worked. Okay, well, it might have been because it was the first time we programmed it that it took so long. I'm not sure. Alright, so let's move on to the next, which is the fourth, which is the top right, and that is the protein skimmer. So we're going to do Zio skim. Pump type. Fallback is on, and then we have the same thing here. We're just going to change this to zero, five, and then zero. Okay, upload that. It's quiet in here. This is not normal. And then we're going to turn these two. Uh, items on as soon as we're done uploading this one. Ooh, failed the Apex Respond issue. Okay, basically it took too long to load. So we'll go back in. This happened a couple times before. So let's go back into four. Let's try this again. Uh, Zio Skimmer. Pump on. Make sure you set this to zero. That one's zero. Let's see what's taking so long. I have some issues with my Wi Fi, so that might have something to do with it. Mm, taking a little bit long this time, too, so. We will find out shortly. If this happens again, I'll just restart my modem. Yep. Looks like I'm going to go do that. We will be right back. Hey, sorry about that, guys. I had to reset my internet and reset the box just to get it to work properly. So let's get back to it. We're going to program the blue and white lights. So the blue is actually on 7. So we'll go through here. Rename that uh, Zio. Uh, light blue. Okay. 
we're going to do underneath lighting control. I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. Fallback is off. Let's see, we're going to have it start at 0800. We're going to have them go off at uh, 2200. All right, now we'll do, uh, let's do that again. Let's have it start on at 09 and go off at 21, which is 9 p.m. We're going to have a uh, shutdown probe that's going to be connected to this. It will be Zeo Temp Probe. All right, the shutoff value, 82. It's never going to get to 82, but something seriously is wrong. And that's it, so let's upda update that. Let's see if it works. Oh, that's good. That's much better. It's good to have the internet back. Go back to the dashboard. All right, we see that we have this here, so we're going to turn on the blue light real quick. Yeah, you can see it over here. All right. Now let's go. Now let's set up the white light, which is number one, two, three, which is three. So we'll go ahead and set that up. Make sure it's plugged in. Okay, it's plugged in. So let's do uh, zeolite white. Set it to lighting. Fall back to off. We're going to have this one turn on at uh, 10 a.m. and go off at 8 a.m. Or, yeah, we'll do 8 p.m. So, 2000. Again, select the temp probe that you want, which is a zeal temp. And we're just going to leave the, uh, auto, top, the uh, auto shot off at 82 for now. It was too long, so we're going to take, you know, take that out. Okay, yeah, we had to take the E out to make it fit. Okay, that's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish setting up all these. I don't think you guys want to watch me set up the rest of the board. So um, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I uh, hope it was helpful. Uh, let me know if you want to learn anything else about the Apex. Uh, I've been dealing with it for a couple years now, so I'm pretty, I won't say I'm an expert, but I'm pretty good at setting up things. So. Alright guys, talk to you later.